We're keeping an eye on the market as well because Wall Street stocks finished lower overnight as the conflict in Ukraine pushed up the price of oil, nickel and gold. So joining me now is our business reporter, Edward Boyd. Ed, what has the local market reaction been this morning? ASX 200 is down about 0.7% in early trade, Laura. Not really surprising when US markets, Wall Street fell 1, 1.5% to 2% overnight. And, you know, the war in Ukraine is really starting to push up the prices of a lot of commodities, particularly oil. That jumped 8% overnight. Price of oil is now about 106 US dollars a barrel. So it's a good day to be an oil company anywhere in the world. Gold prices have also gone up. And I've just read a report this morning from a coal forecasting company expecting coal prices for, Aust for Australian coal miners to really go through the roof. They're already at record highs, about 256 US dollars a tonne for thermal coal. That's expected to go up even more because Russia is one of the world's biggest suppliers of coal. They supply a lot of coal into the European area. And with the sanctions, it's now very likely that those European buyers are going to have to look elsewhere for coal and it's going to push up the price of coal here. So it's a good day to be a mining company today on the on the stock market, but at the rest of the market, it's all a sea of red. It's down about 0.7%. Yeah. Uh, OK, good uh, time to be in the energy uh, markets, although they are a bit topsy-turvy. Ed, the December <laughs> quarter GDP numbers will be released today. Economists are predicting GDP will grow by 3.5%. Is that in line with what we're expecting in the post-COVID recovery? That's all part of the post-COVID recovery. The prediction today is lots of people, in particular in New South Wales and Victoria, came out of lockdown around that October, November period last year and started spending a lot of money again out in the community at restaurants and cafes as they started to reopen. So household spending is going to be the main driver for economic growth for the last three months of 2021. The expectation from economists from Bloomberg, the, the consensus is a lift of 3.5% GDP growth in the December quarter. And that would be 4.1% for the year 2021. And that really reflects, yes, coming out of lockdowns, coming out of COVID and bouncing back and people spending money again. Mm. It's worth noting, though, that the Reserve Bank believe the economy is going to grow 5% in 2021. So we'll have to see who is correct with their predictions later this morning when the numbers come out at about 11.30. OK, we'll be testing them. Ed, thanks so much.